Back here at the 2019 GLBC football kickoff where our sixth school checking in with us today is Truman State University. The Bulldogs finished third in conference play last year at 5-2 and two, and were 6-5 and five overall. In GLBC preseason poll just released, the coaches have picked Truman State to finish third once again. Greg Nesbitt is set to begin his 10th season on the sidelines at Kirksville. Joining us today is senior quarterback Jaden Barr and senior quarterback Jordan Siegel. Guys, welcome to the kick kickoff, and I know you're excited to get the season underway. Coach, I'll give you a few moments for some brief comments on your season. Well, the, uh, John, I'm old enough that I'm starting my 40th year that I'm like uh, the kids when they first start school. We're, we're, we like that summer vacation, but uh, we are really excited uh, about what's going on at Truman State with football. We're excited to start the year, and and uh, as long as I still get that excitement and these guys are still listening, we'll keep keep going here a little bit. But uh, we're excited to get it going. Uh, thank you, Coach. Let's look at the offense for six return, but really just an all all around solid core uh, at each position. Great experience on the line and in the backfield, and of course under center with the young man sitting next to you. Give us your thoughts. Well, we've got. Uh, We've got some work to do, John, at the offensive interior. We do return two all-conference, or excuse me, one all-conference player in Jacob Van Dorn, uh, another one that could have been all-conference in Jacob Lewis, whose season was shortened a little bit with a tough ankle injury. But that's probably our primary concern, uh, developing uh, depth, competition uh, as we move forward. The rest of the offense is in pretty good shape. You, we, we're got good depth at wide receiver. We're very good at the running back position. You've got Jordan Salima, who's, I believe, sixth, maybe seventh in career rushing yardage as he moves into his senior year. So he's certainly going to move up the track there at a school that's been known for running uh, for a number of years. And then Jaden Barr on my right, uh, he's third all time in total yardage uh, for all quarterbacks in the history of the schools. He goes into his senior year. So a great year. He could end up number one all time. Lord willing, he stays healthy. Um, and it's, uh, gives you great confidence. Quarter, it's a quarterback driven sport. So when you've got experience and a, and a quality player and a quality leader as a longtime head coach, that certainly gives you a, a added confidence, particularly from a leadership standpoint, heading into uh, the season from an offensive perspective. Jaden, you posted a tremendous year offensively for the team, including 17 touchdowns. You get it done in the air and on the ground as you were third in the GLBC in rushing yards, sixth in passing. With a unit of experienced wideouts and backs behind you, talk about the mindset and confidence that you have with yourself in this unit, regardless of what, what play is called. Yeah, you know, um, we got great, great coaches, great coaching staff that puts us in uh, positions to be successful um, on both sides of the ball and you know our OC coach Kilday um, you know he always says you know you don't rise to the occasion you sink to the level of your preparation and um, right now throughout the summer months you know we're just trying to get prepared uh, for the long season ahead um, you know trying to put our bodies in the best position to be successful and then um, you know training our minds to to be positive no matter the circumstance you know um, you know you're going to make mistakes in this game it's going to happen but being able to respond um, and respond effectively uh, make plays when it matters um, that's another huge aspect of the game converting on third down um, and then protecting the football you know that's something that I have to be better at um, heading into this my last season you know I want to protect the football and put our team in a chance to be successful. Thank you. Coach, a decorated defense returns to Truman this season as a number of first and second team honorees compromised, uh, comprised this unit. Defensive end Sam Reeves was a first team all-conference pick as, ju uh, as a junior last year. Junior cornerback Lawrence Woods picked up first team honors, and so, tid, uh, so did the man sitting next to you. How is the Truman State defense shaping up heading into camp? Well, John, I'll, uh, you know, generally uh, I've done this a long time, obviously, and uh, you hesitate to crown people uh, you generally are a, a glass half empty if you will uh, our deep we've been known for defense for the last six years we run and it's generally the the sum is greater than individual parts our kids play hard they run the ball they leverage the football generally and on paper right now uh, we've got a chance to to be as good as we've been so I'll put the kids on blast and and uh, you know Sam Reeves Defensive end actually leads all levels of college football with 32 career sacks. I think I think the national record is 47. 
uh, so one of the premier pass rushers in all the country, uh, and a violent run defender. We return our entire front four too deep, so we're strong there. Uh, you, you mentioned Lawrence Woods at the corner. Uh, all three safeties, Jordan was uh, a first team. Siegel sitting to my left was a first team all league uh, defender. You had Travis Meyerson from Crystal Lake, Illinois, Chicagoland uh, was second team. And you had Zach Nadel, another Ch Chicagoland true freshman last year from Plainfield uh, that was honorable mention. So all three of those guys got all conference. And Wyatt Fischel started at the safety position last year, and he's had 600 snaps. So we've got a uh, everything in place uh, to give our offense an opportunity to be in ball games and, and uh, hopefully make some plays in the kicking game as well. Jordan, you picked up first team all GLBC accolades after finishing tied for seventh in the league with two interceptions, 11 over, 11th in overall tackles for a loss, nine, and 19, uh, 19th in tackles per game, a little over six. You had 67 stops, nine for, law, for a loss. Give us your impressions on, both def on the defense and your mindset heading into your senior campaign. Uh, for me, for the defense, we have a really experienced group coming back, and it's going to be all about trying to get back to that top-tier mm -hmm. defense we've been in the past by doing the little things right, as Coach said, leveraging football, effort, and playing hard every snap you can. So my mindset for me right now is just to get in the best shape I can and just play as many snaps as I can and row as hard as I can. And I think uh, the rest of the defense is taking up that mindset as well to try to get ourselves back to top the league where we should be. Coach Lawrence, Wood is, uh, Lawrence Woods is back as your leader on special teams. He's a re reigning GLVC Special Teams Player of the Year. You have returned three. Uh, he's returning. He's returned three of his 12 kickoffs back for touchdowns. It's been nice to have such an electric standout to return to your special team squad. Yeah, he's actually the, was the GLVC Kicking Game Player of the Year, and obviously kickoff return is what he's known for. Uh, only 12 returns, nobody would kick him the football, which was fine with us. I'm, I'm fairly confident we led the country in starting field position uh, for Jaden in our offense just based on squib kicks alone. He's affecting the game even without touching the football. Uh, but he also was, did a, a fantastic job in punt coverage. I think he individually forced 36% of our punts last year. He, he forced fair catches with his speed in covering the field and was also fantastic in kick coverage. So he, he did a lot of things in the kicking game. And we're also blessed in our kicking game with Joshua Scheider, uh, was a true freshman, pre-med major uh, from Kickapoo High School in Springfield. He tied our single season school record last year with 15 field goals, which was phenomenal. Uh, Jaden and, and I and our offense, we'd like to finish just a couple more with touchdowns down there. Uh, and he's okay with that well, but he, uh, as well. And, and he, uh, he had some ups and downs uh, by his standards. Uh, he's going to be a great, great kicker and uh, could end up being our punter as well. So we've, we, uh, we certainly have the pieces in place to affect some positive change in the kicking game as well. Finally, Coach, let's take a look a little bit at your schedule. You head to Drake for the opener, but return for two non-conference home games before striking ice. Home away balance with the GLVC schedule. Truman ends the GLVC slate at UND this year, which will precede a road contest of uh, to Urbana in Ohio. What stands out to you most about this schedule this year? I like our schedule. I like the home and away. Um, you know, it's so difficult to, to get 11 full games with Division II, you know, the MIAA, the, the Northern Sun now, they, they don't play any non-league games. They're locked into all conference. So uh, I like the fact that we've, we've got a couple FCS schools, you know, had the opportunity to go to Valparaiso last year, which was a, a great experience. You know, win or lose, we happened to win that football game, but see a different area, see a different uh, level of football, and, and no exception issue with Drake, and which will be a difficult home opener. I think they lost to Iowa State 27-24 in the la their last game of the year, mid-November, and they will have already played a game. They opened with the University of North Dakota uh, a week prior to our opener, so that's a competitive disadvantage, but uh, we like that. You got Wayne State from downtown Detroit, Michigan coming in for week two. Valparaiso's given us a return date before we go to Quincy to start league play week four. So uh, I love the schedule that Jerry Wolmering, our, our athletic director, uh, has set up. And uh, 
it's going to be enjoyable for these guys to see different levels of play and a nice balance of, of home and away games. Gentlemen, thank you so much for joining us here on GLVC SN, and the best of luck to you this season. Two teams to go. Will it be Lindenwood or U Indy pick to take the top spot in the GLVC this season? And you'll find out next here on the GLVC Sports Network. When you get to your senior year, I would say that almost everybody knows each other. Every class that I chose was an opportunity to get to know the professors and to develop opportunities for research, for talking outside of class, and for other things that really built that groundwork and foundation to go on to graduate school and ultimately to a professional career. I feel like I'm more diverse, I'm more well-rounded. As long as you have a strong base and a widespread skill set, then you can really shape your career and your life to be what you want it to be.